Finally, season four is here. Yes, yes. Dan, what do you think it is that um, Emily in Paris has just connected with audiences so well and it's just so many people's guilty pleasure? What is it about the show? You know, I think first it's this idea that you can reinvent your life in another city and, and you can, actually, it's possible. And I think seeing somebody have that experience is, is inspiring. And then beyond that, Lily Collins is just amazing to watch her go through this journey and the rest of the cast. And I think it's like people, everybody really connects to these characters and to this cast. And I think it goes, the, the show has gone beyond the premise of Emily being a fish out of water in Paris mm -hmm. to really this wonderful ensemble of actors. And, and her life as an expatriate in Paris and her, and her friends and her, and her love life and, and, and getting to further explore the, um, the other characters on the show. I think the, the deeper we go into their lives, I think the more the audience connects to the show. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Lucas, we saw Gabriel left at the altar. So where do things pick up for Gabriel and Emily? How far into this? When do we get a resolution? You know, I thought this was gonna be a fun gig, but <laughs> you know, Darren keeps putting me in situations where uh, my, my soul gets, uh, you know, shattered in pieces. <laughs> I've been left at the altar, I've been, I've been, I've been tortured, I'm losing a kid, a star, like it's, you know, it's, um, when I lose set, when I go out of set, I go straight to my psychiatrist and, uh, <laughs> I and can't just imagine. unravel stuff. Uh, but this season is, um, you know, is just taking matter into his own hands. Uh, he's just uh, being more proactive and, uh, and I, I love it. Um, we, I, he's, he's, he's not a victim, he's, he wants to, you know, be, be present for uh, the baby that is on the way. He wants to chase his dream once and for all and, and mix everything in motion to, 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 to make it happen. And uh, in that process, gather enough confidence to, you know, go for the love, uh, the, to go for the woman he loves. So uh, it's a fun season. It's a very proactive season for him. So will we see a resolution in part one or are you going to make, it, make us wait until part two, Darren? Will we finally see Emily and Gabriel happy? Or how long are we going to have to wait think, for this? I think that <laughs> you know, the the happy is Season not, five. <laughs> there'll be a lot of complications and some unexpected events in part two. Unexpected events. I mean, it wouldn't be Emily in Paris if that's not. That's right. Events, exactly. Right. Yes. But you keep asking the question seasons after seasons, but yes. you will never get that answer. Unfortunately, it will. I feel like that's something that will come if it does at the end. Yeah. And like, when yeah. is the end? We we don't know. That's uh. It's um. It's Darren Starr, he just likes to play with us. Yeah, he likes know. to play with all of us, likes to play with all of us. So a love triangle, again, would it be Emily in Paris without a, a love triangle, square, some kind of shape, right? <laughs> <That's> right. <laughs> yeah, by, by season 10, it should be an octagon, and, uh, yes. and it's not gonna be the same show. <laughs> she has difficult choices, Emily, she really does, because you know what, they're two amazing men. Yeah. And there's also, reasons to be with them and, not, and reasons not to be together. She really does have feelings for both, doesn't she? Yes, yeah. And how is Gabriel going to cope with a baby on the way with his ex? How is Gabriel going to cope with the baby? I feel like I feel like he's going to be a great father, you know? Because yeah. for, for, to, to start with, for me, uh, cooking food is love. So it, it, it is a love language. It was certainly my mother's love language. So it takes a lot to cook, to open a restaurant, to want to to please people, to want to make them forget about about their uh, obligations and reality for a little moment, and to invite them into this world of hey, I'm feeding you. There's there's something with the, the action of feeding someone. It's very you know, I, like every grandmother in the world knows that feeding is a language of love, and um, and so with, within that dynamic, I feel like he's gonna he's gonna be a great father, a very giving, present father. So um, you can see the excitement, you know. I've never seen a, a soon-to-be father be so excited to be. No matter how excited you are, yeah. Gabriel is the most excited of all. 
Yeah, and we see that scene in the last season, don't we, when he's at the park and he's playing mm. with, with the kids. He sees the kids. Yeah, it's very sweet. Very sweet. Oh, I forgot about that scene. That was oh, such yeah. a lovely yeah, day. Yeah, when he goes up. Yeah, yeah very yeah. sweet scene. With the boats. And yeah. the Michelin star, how is that coming along? Oh, you know, it's, it's a lot of work. Yeah. It's a uh, it's 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 a it's, it's a rough competition out there, yeah. and uh, you never know when the when it, the guy is going to come along, and uh, come along, and uh, you need to keep up appearances. Uh, so, uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't want to do it in real life. That sounds very yeah. stressful. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of pressure. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of pressure. And everything so is put in questions every day. You restart. It's like a uh, it's like a play. You know. How's your cooking in real life? Have you found a new love it's great. for the kitchen? It's not as good as Gabrielle's. I don't deserve a star, but there's certainly a lot of love and uh, generous, generous portions. Generous portions. Yes. That's always important. Yes. Darren, how come this season is in two parts? Why two parts? That was really, a, you know, a Netflix decision, which they, I mean, we're flattered because they seems like they're doing it with their biggest shows, and just keep, I guess, you know, keep the audience engaged across a couple of months. And it's like, it, it's kind of a nice thing because it's really like two seasons. Yeah. And they're two, like, I think as, as much as I love season one, I think I, season two is even bigger with like more just like unexpected twists. And um, the story goes in some really sort of, I don't know, exciting directions. And just more torture for us, right? Uh, yes, yes. Just more torture, also, waiting. I feel like part one really feels like a full season, and part two as well, which is you manage to keep as much entertainment and, and locations and escapism within a shorter, with, with l minus five episodes. So it's, it's, it says part one, part two, but it, it really feels like two full seasons. It's so rich.